First time you, you come in to see us, just leave your modesty at the door. <laughs> Dr. Jason Highsmith and his assistants are preparing Ed Cello and Randy Thran to test a new mechanical knee, the Oser Power Knee. Ed lost his leg fighting in Iraq in 2004. Randy was a police officer in Georgia and suffered repeated injuries to his leg over the years, but a sidekick from a drug dealer caused him to lose the leg. Ready, stand. Both men are volunteering to help test this new generation of prosthetic devices that could make walking, standing, and sitting a lot easier. For amputees, just getting up from a chair can require help or else they have to contort their bodies. Walking and climbing stairs can cause wear and tear on the natural leg because of the added stress. Favoring the natural leg can cause a lot of problems in the long run. With the power knee, a sensor in the shoe and on the ankle of the natural leg sends signals to the mechanical leg telling it to move. Dr. Highsmith and his assistants place sensors on the volunteers and record the way they move. The volunteers are asked to sit or stand, while the movements are recorded through special cameras and translated on the computer screen. The readings show which parts of the body are being stressed or whether they're allowed to move more naturally. The deal is they'll have to cue the, the knee and tell it that they're going to climb stairs by rocking back, then forward, and then that first toe touch will tell it that it's ready to climb. Walking up and down stairs has always been a problem for amputees. Ed and Randy show how the mechanical device can make it a lot easier. I mean, that's, that's the latest, greatest in leg prosthetics. Right now. And even this, this is milestones, even to come down and step over step, that's a big deal, you know. Let me throw a little out of practice with it. I'll catch you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> North Carolina, you gotta wear a helmet for this thing. Yeah. Well, yeah, one more time. We won't beat you up too much with it. Pretty good, Randy. I think yours needs a little tweak in there. <laughs> a little bit. Show them what it would be like if, if you had a basic mechanical knee, how, how maybe an older person that's worried about falling might do it. And you can see how inefficient yeah. this would be yeah. and how it'll wear out the uh, anatomic knee if you keep doing that. But people that don't have the higher end expensive knee, this is, this is how we teach them to do it because it's safer. Ed is the East Coast Area Director for the Wounded Warrior Project an organization that helps veterans injured in Iraq or Afghanistan settle back into a normal life. The technology in prosthetic legs is advancing and the only way it's going to continue to advance is if some of us step up and decide to wear these things and help the manufacturers troubleshoot and you know, further enhance the technology, make it better for the next you know, bunch of amputees down the road. Honestly, personally, I can't thank them enough you know, take them out to dinner and spend some time with them and actually learn from them. That's because that's what we're really doing. And um, so without the donation of their time and their willingness to come down and do this thing, we don't have a study. The science doesn't progress. So, so we need both sides of it. We need the, the guys like this to come down and volunteer. And we also need uh, Oser and the other manufacturers, Autobach and those folks to, to get behind us and, and let us test their product and, and uh, support it enough and have faith in it for us to do that. There's another good reason to test the power knee. Right now, insurance companies are reluctant to pay the cost of the knee, which is more than $100,000. By proving that the knee is effective, Dr. Highsmith and the manufacturers are hoping to make life a lot easier for some of the people who've given so much, people like Ed and Randy. For the University of South Florida, I'm Ken Gullett.